Ladies and gentlemen, this is Intervlog. I say, this is Intervlog, and I am here once again with the most important updates on news across Africa. Today, we're focusing on a significant and serious development in Burkina Faso. In a move that has captured national and international attention, several high-ranking military officials, including former President Lieutenant Colonel Paul Henry Sandaogo Damiba, have been dismissed from the National Armed Forces. This unprecedented action, taken by Burkina Faso's current president, Captain Ibrahim Traoré, highlights the government's commitment to preserving military integrity and national security. Let's dive into the background of this story. On October 30th, 2024, President Traoré signed a decree removing several military officers from their positions, citing actions that allegedly undermine Burkina Faso's dignity and reputation. Lieutenant Colonel Damiba, a familiar name to many as he previously served as President of Faso, has been accused on the nation's security. Specifically, he and others stand accused of engaging in intelligence sharing with foreign entities, but especially in Burkina Faso, where stability and sovereignty are high priorities. This decision extends beyond Lieutenant Colonel Damiba. Several other officers of various ranks have also been dismissed, including Lieutenant Colonel Keita Bubakar, Lieutenant Colonel Wedraugo Sidpasamde Wilfried, and former Chief of Staff of the National Gendarmerie, Lieutenant Colonel Evrard Somda. These individuals are accused of undermining the state, the military, and Burkina Faso's defense efforts. So, what does this mean for Burkina Faso, and why is this news so significant? The allegations brought against these officers highlight what appears to be a serious breach of trust within the military. For any nation, the armed forces are expected to serve with loyalty, honor, and a commitment to the country's security. Allegations that senior officials have betrayed this duty are not taken lightly, especially by a government led by a president who himself has a background in the military and values the role of a disciplined and dedicated defense force. President Traoré's actions demonstrate a zero-tolerance policy toward any behavior that compromises the nation's stability and security. This move is also a clear message to both the citizens and military personnel of Burkina Faso. The country's leadership is determined to restore and uphold integrity within the armed forces, leaving no room for actions that go against the national interest. At Intervlog, we will continue following this story closely, providing you with updates on how this impacts the government, the military, and, most importantly, the people of Burkina Faso. President Traoré's decree signals a firm stance on corruption and betrayal within public institutions, but it also raises questions about the potential implications for the nation's future. How will this affect national security? Will it lead to increased trust in the government? And how will the public respond? Africa. A clear message Captain Ibrahim Traoré will no longer tolerate corruption in Burkina Faso. Recently, a network of thugs was discovered in the Ministry of Humanitarian Action, following a report made through a complaint. Facing this situation, Captain Ibrahim Traoré said he would no longer tolerate such acts of embezzlement. President Ibrahim Traoré stressed his belief that similar practices could exist in other ministries. He also announced that the state will put in place strict checks to remind all agents that reprehensible behavior will not be accepted in Burkina Faso. This initiative aims to create a climate of transparency and integrity within public institutions while building citizens' confidence in their government. In this view, Captain Ibrahim Traoré intends to conduct thorough investigations and apply firm disciplinary measures against offenders. This approach aims not only to dismantle corruption networks, but also to promote a public service that respects the values of ethics and responsibility. Working for a positive change in public administration, President Ibrahim Traoré wants to establish a culture where integrity is valued, thus strengthening the image of the Burkinabe state. These efforts are part of a broader commitment to good governance and sustainable development, essential for the progress and well-being of the Burkinabe people. Speech by Captain Ibrahim Traoré 
President of Burkina Faso standing against corruptions. My fellow Burkina Bay, today, I stand before you not just as your president, but as a humble servant of our beloved country, a country that we all cherish, a nation built on the dreams, hopes, and sacrifices of its people. It is our shared hope for a Burkina Faso where every child can grow up with pride, where every family can live with dignity, and where every citizen can trust in the fairness and integrity of their government. Yet, it pains me to acknowledge that there are forces within our nation working against this dream. Corruption has taken root within some of our institutions, eroding the trust we have built and stifling the progress we all strive for. Today, I am here to tell you, this will not be tolerated. Together, we will root out corruption and rebuild a country founded on integrity, justice, and dedication to the common good. Corruption is more than just theft of resources. It is a theft of hope, of opportunities, of the futures of our sons and daughters. Corruption drags our economy down, weakens our institutions, and tarnishes our reputation on the world stage. When those entrusted to serve the people exploit their positions for personal gain, they do not simply betray the government. They betray every Burkina Bay who has placed their faith in them. Today, we stand united in the fight against corruption. We will not allow a few dishonest individuals to jeopardize the stability and prosperity of the entire nation. On October 30th, I signed a decree to dismiss several members of our national armed forces. These are not decisions made lightly, and they are not choices that I celebrate, but they are necessary steps to safeguard our beloved nation. Among those dismissed are high-ranking officials, men who once held the trust of this nation. Men like Lieutenant Colonel Paul Henry Sandiogo de Miba, who held the very responsibility of leading our country, but who, by their actions, have betrayed its integrity. These actions, which involve collaborating with foreign powers to pursue personal interests, have deeply dishonored the dignity of our military. Such acts compromise our national security and go against everything our military stands for. Let it be known, any individual who places personal ambitions above the nation will not have a place within our armed forces or government. Our military's loyalty to Burkina Faso must be absolute. The men and women who wear our nation's uniform are called not only to defend us, but to embody the values that define us. Honor, courage, and dedication to the people of Burkina Faso. Our military is the backbone of our national security, and without honor and loyalty within its ranks, our nation cannot stand strong against the challenges we face. We live in a time of unprecedented threats, where security is paramount and loyalty to our country is essential. This is not just about removing those who fail us. It is about protecting the sanctity and strength of the military. To every soldier, officer, and leader within the ranks, I say this, your loyalty must be unwavering. Any compromise in your commitment weakens not only your integrity, but the very security of our people. Our military is the shield that protects our nation. It must be held to the highest standards. Unfortunately, this issue of corruption is not limited to the military. Recently, we uncovered a network of corruption within the Ministry of Humanitarian Action a ministry established to protect our most vulnerable. Funds meant to assist those in need were siphoned off for personal gain, and those responsible will be held accountable. I am aware that this may be just the beginning, that there may be similar issues in other ministries. This government will not rest until every such instance is brought to light, and those responsible are brought to justice. We will ensure that every franc meant for the people of Burkina Faso reaches them and is not stolen by the few who abuse their power. In response to these revelations, we are implementing stricter measures across all government sectors. New procedures will be enacted to reinforce transparency and accountability at every level. We will launch a series of audits, investigations, and integrity checks across all ministries and government institutions. This will be a continuous process and we will leave no stone unturned. To all public servants, let me make this clear. If you misuse the trust given to you by the people, there will be consequences. 
No one is above the law and no one is exempt from scrutiny. If you betray the trust of the people, you will be held accountable, no matter your rank, no matter your connections. But fighting corruption is not just about punishing those who do wrong. It is about building a new culture in our public service, a culture where honesty, integrity, and accountability are valued above all else, a culture where public service is seen as an honor, not an opportunity for personal gain. I call on every civil servant in Burkina Faso to join us in this mission. Work not for yourselves, but for the people. Serve with humility, with dedication, and with the knowledge that your actions can either strengthen or weaken our nation. Our goal is to make public service a noble calling once again, where ethics are upheld, and where every public servant stands as a role model for the people they serve. This fight against corruption is not just a government effort. It is a fight for the soul of Burkina Faso. It is a fight for our children's future and for the prosperity of future generations. I urge every Burkina Bay to take part in this fight. Let us refuse to tolerate corruption and let us hold each other accountable. Let us teach our children that integrity, not deceit, is the path to success. Together we can build a Burkina Faso that is stronger, prouder, and more united than ever before. A nation where opportunities are available to all, not just to those who exploit the system. A nation where hard work and integrity are rewarded, where honesty and justice guide us forward. As your president, I renew my commitment to you today. I pledge to fight corruption at every level, to bring justice to those who betray our trust, and to create a Burkina Faso where every citizen can live with pride and dignity. I ask for your support, your vigilance, and your commitment to this cause. Let us move forward, undivided, toward a brighter future for our beloved nation. Let us reaffirm our dedication to Burkina Faso and its people. Together, we will overcome the challenges we face, and together, we will build a Burkina Faso founded on integrity, justice, and strength. This is the end of our program today. See you on Intervlog, same time, tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you for watching Intervlog. Thank you.